Hello, Algebra 1. Welcome to the lesson 9-7 uh, on solving systems of linear and quadratic equations. Okay, so this is going to be straight Desmos section, right? We've learned how to graph linear. We've learned how to graph quadratic. So now we're going to graph them at the same time, and we're going to see where they cross, where their graphs intersect, right? That's what we mean by systems. Now, there's a couple different situations that you're going to see might happen in terms of your solution set, right? Okay, so uh, example one, it says, why are the solutions of linear quadratic systems related to the solutions of a quadratic equation? Okay, so a linear quadratic system of equations includes a linear and a quadratic and is represented by a graph corresponding to the line and the parabola, right? So here is your general systems formula, right? The line mx plus b, the parabola ax squared plus bx plus c. Notice that when you graph a line and a parabola, they can intersect in one of three ways. They might not intersect, right here. No solution. They might have one intersection point right here, which would be, say, this point right here where that line just kind of grazes, right? This is the one solution uh, example. Uh, in geometry, you're going to learn that that line is called a tangent line to the curve, okay? And then there could be two points of intersection, like here, there, and there. And this would be uh, what's called a secant line in geometry. Okay, so a little bit more than you need to know about there. So again, this this is a huge important slide of your notes. So make sure you understand this. Okay, so uh, example two says, how can you use graphs to find the solution of this equation? So again, notice that this is just one equation. It's actually a quadratic equation which we could solve, but we can also take each side and make it its own separate equation. We can make this side equation one and this side equation two, and we can create a system. Now this left-hand side we could call y equals five minus x squared. That is a quadratic equation. It's really not in our standard form because we want the ax squared first. So that would really say y equals negative x squared plus five. Notice it has no b term. And then the second equation would be y equals x plus 3. And we'll just use that, y equals x plus 3. And this is our system. Quadratic on top, linear on bottom. Let's graph it, all right? And let's see where the two lines cross. And again, I, I put a nice coordinate plan in here. Just ignore, I mean, uh, never mind. We'll see how it graphs. Now, we could also do this by hand. But again, Desmos is here. Let's just make it a little quicker. Let me clear this out the way. Let me zoom out one. Okay, so we're going to type in y equals negative x squared plus 5. Right, that was our first equation, our quadratic. And then y equals x plus 3. And there we go. And do me a favor, try to try to sketch this on your curve, uh, on your graph. Um, and I'll go back and do it with you. How about that? Just to make things best. Okay, so uh, I have it written on my paper so I can kind of talk from here. So we, the vertex of the quadratic was at 5. It's also the y-intercept, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it just goes, you know, down here, down here. And then it goes down to here, down to here. Right? And again, the hard part of doing these by hand is that, you know, you got to graph that quadratic pretty darn close. And again, I'm not, I'm not even good enough to do that. And then the linear equation, right, had a y-intercept of 3 and a slope of 1. Up one, right one, up one, right one, down one, left one, down one, left one, and there's your linear. And you can see that it does have two intersection points, so this line is acting as a secant line, and those two intersection points are negative 2, 1, and 1, 4. And those are the two solutions to this system. Okay, next one. All right, so now a true systems of equations, right? So they have them separated. We have the quadratic on top. We have the linear on bottom. So now let's go ahead and go into Desmos and graph away. Uh, I, I apologize for not including a graph with these. Uh, you'll just have to sketch it freehand, okay? And again, to me, it doesn't matter how accurate your graph is. Just make sure you have the picture uh, sort of. So y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. That's the quadratic. There you go. 
and then uh, y equals 2x minus 4. And there is the linear, 2x minus 4. Okay, so I'm going to take this picture, and I'm going to graph it uh, on our notes. Okay, so if I come back to our notes here, and again, I don't, I don't need it to be accurate, right? You can just, you know, do a quick sketch. Okay, so here's my coordinate plane. I'll make the quadratic in blue. Looks like its vertex is around here. Y-intercept is around here. Let's see how well this goes. That's not bad. Proud of myself. Okay, and then the line I'll do on purple. Looks like it has an uh, intersection point here with the graph and an intersection point here. I'll connect those two, two points to make my line. And again, you notice we have two equations, right? So if we go back to Desmos, uh, and again, I took a quick picture. It looks like one equation is at negative 2, 0. That's going to be an x-intercept of both graphs. Or not negative 2, positive 2, positive 2. What am I doing? What am I doing? Positive 2, 0. Right here. And then the other solution is right there. And that looks like it's the point 6, 8. If I go back to Desmos, so again, I want to make sure you have this picture drawn in your notes. But again, you go to Desmos right now with me. Uh, and we'll see the picture as well. You can click on the graph and it says 2, 0, and 6, 8. Awesome. Okay, last but not least, uh, a word problem here. So let's take a look at this word problem from our notes. All right, so this is a phone company launches the sale of two phones in the same week. The phone on the top is an upgraded version of the other phone. During what week are the sales projected to be the same for both phones? in thousands. What will the weekly sales be for each phone? So when you see that word same, right, that means point of intersection, right? So in this case, the weak number is going to be our x. So x is our weak number. So first week, second week, and then y is going to be the sales, but notice it's in thousands. So we have to multiply the number by a thousand when we get it, okay? So our two functions our y equals 20x. That is our slope intercept form uh, function. The b value is just 0. Okay? And then our quadratic is y equals negative 2x squared plus 60x. And again, that's our quadratic. So we'll go ahead and type those two into Desmos. And again, uh, we'll graph a picture somewhere roughly on this paper, on this page. Okay? So we go into Desmos. Clear, clear. Again, it is a word problem, so these might be bigger numbers. So y equals 20x is my first one. Again, you can see that's a very steep line. And then y equals negative 2x squared plus 60x, right? And again, notice part of it went away because it's gone, right? Look at that. Okay, so again, you can see that the y's are going really high. The x is not so much, right? This x-intercept right here is at 30, 0. So I'm going to change my wrench. I'm going to leave the y's as they are. But I'm going to change the x. I don't need to be that big. I'm going to go from like negative 1 to 40. Right there. So I see a good picture. Right. This gives me a good idea of what's happening here. Now again, you know, uh, the, the slope should be a lot steeper because you're growing really fast. But this gives me a good picture of what I'm looking at. Okay. So I'm going to take this picture and then I'm going to uh, copy it on my uh, notes here. Okay, so here's my notes page. Again, I just want to give a quick little sketch of this picture. So I have my first quadrant here. I have my uh, linear function, which I'll do in blue. And on my paper, it looks like this. Again, it is steeply sloped because of the 20. And then I have my, in purple, my parabola. It looks like this. All right, something like that. Okay, and again, we're looking for the intersection point, right? When they will be the same? Well, one of the intersection points I'll do in green is zero, zero. It looks looks appear to be zero, zero. That doesn't count, right? That doesn't make sense. That's if there's no sales. The other intersection point is right here, and according to me, that looks like it's at the point twenty four hundred. So I'm going to go back to Desmos and, and verify that. But this will give us our x and y that we need. And we'll, we'll talk about it on Desmos right now. 
So if I go back to this, most right, so one of the intersection points is zero, zero, the other one is, like I said, 2,400. So this point being 2,400 means this, right? So the question is, uh, during what week are the sales projected to be the same? During week 20, the sales will be, and we got to take 400 and times it by 1,000. When you take 400 times by 1,000, just add three zeros, $400,000. And that's the interpretation of this problem. That's when the sales will be the same. All right, great. Uh, Desmos, right? We'd love it. We'd love it. We'd love it. We'd love it. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in class.